Bam. Let's go. Welcome back. Welcome back. What's happening, everybody, on the replay? I looked up at the moon, and it shut the camera down. Really. I was talking. We were talking about astrology, and I took the phone, and I started looking at the moon. Let me show it to you. Let me try it again. It was over. It was behind the clouds. But boy, is she big and pretty right now. Yes, yes, yes. What's up, my own boss? What's up, Carly? Appreciate everybody for coming through. Make sure you, um, this is part two. So still just asking that. Um, I'm just glad everybody's showing up right now. Thank you for the hearts. And of course, you know, I'll be taking roll calls shortly. But if you're just getting in, you already know the drill. Swipe to the right or swipe up and invite all of your followers share on Twitter because the more people that you share with the more people have this information the more all of you can like have some more good stuff to talk about ain't y'all tired of talking about Meek Mills and Drake cuz none of them are following their astrological signs I don't know who <laughs> I don't know what Meek fired his astrologer or he never had one but Something is going all wrong for that for that dude. But don't you want to share and like be able to sit around and talk to people about like how Pisces is gonna affect Pisces and how Pisces Pisces full moon is gonna affect Virgos and how Pisces full moon is gonna affect Tauruses and things like that. Yes, and I'm sitting outside, so you know I, the lighting is wonderful, the weather is wonderful, it's quiet out here. I'm doing this right up under the full moon. Show it to you one more time. Will I be able to follow this on YouTube, Coach? Uh, I haven't put it on YouTube yet, but I do have a catch site. I have a I have a site called Catch Me, K A T C H dot Me. If you following me, like on Instagram or something like that, if you follow me on Twitter, then you will see the replay. So, because that's like all of my stuff is saved in the cloud, you'll get to save it for 24 hours on here on Periscope. But then I have another system set up where it's saving on the cloud. But I haven't moved them over on YouTube yet. Like, not that it would take a lot of work, but I just haven't started putting them over there. But I possibly will tonight. That makes sense, right? So, um, once again, I'm Coach Kair. I had to go get me a eucalyptus candle. I got some uh, Lang Lang. I want to know what do you put on to keep these bugs off of you. So some people say essential oils. So I use some lavender and I use some tea tree and I hope they stay away. But of course, once again, I got to ask. Um, I'm looking for my teams again. I know Team Scorpio is in here. Team Leo is in the building. Team Taurus is in the building. I gave massive shouts out. So I just really appreciate everybody who's in the building. If I left your sign out. Just, you know, drop it in the chat and just Team Aries. How could I forget? How could I forget the lovely Aries? They get it popped off. Citronella and lemongrass, lemongrass, which neither of that I have. Team Gemini is in the building. Team Pisces, man, I just want to go. I should like starting with y'all right away. If you are a Pisces, if you, let me move my, I think, though this, this is not Echinacea. I forgot what this is, but it, but it smells great. My friend, Chosen uh, Cosmic Maps made this. I hope she comes back so she can see that I need a new candle. All right, so I'm going to just move this out the way for a second. So um, if anybody's got any lemongrass and they're in Atlanta and they're riding over here on this side of town off of Cascade, I would really appreciate it. So let's go over here and kick it with the, kick it with the Pisces for a second. Because y'all the man of the hour or the... Or the Man of the hour too sweet to be sour, or the female of the hour too sweet to be sour. Good old Pisces is in the building. The Pisces full moon will be at 2.36 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that's 11.36 on the Pacific Coast. And in the UK, that's going to be 7.36. All right? Now... If we want to kick it and talk about rituals, like, you know, what do people use full moons for? Who uses who uses full moons, you know, and what do they use them for? 
what are they useful for? Like, of course we use them to tell time. Put this over. I love that I can sit it down and talk with my hands free and fan bugs and stuff. I need both hands to get these jokers out of here. So, Pisces full moon is the the full moon period is when things are coming to fruition. That's right. Billionaires use it. Billionaires use the science of astrology and not millionaires. You can make a million dollars without astrology. You're not going to go to a billion without astrology. And so the full moon is the best time to make it's like the doing phase. It's like when you pull out the machete and make things happen and start popping off. But it's not the beginning of the month. You should be building up to it the 17, 20 days beforehand. So you'll be able to catch all of it. The full moon, the biggest energy is the day before, the day of, and the day after. So today... Big full moon energy, great day for doing rituals, which I'm just saying today as in Friday, even though it's after 12 o'clock, which is now Saturday, and we're approaching the full moon. So the moon is uh, waning when it's going towards the full moon is waning, and after the full moon is waxing, when it's right here at the top, is the peak, all right? So... And then you got the day after, so Friday, Saturday, Sunday are the three strongest days for using full moon energy. Now, the moon itself is a, is a water planet. All the planets have different elements. Mercury is air. The sun, of course, is fire. Mars is fire. Venus is earth. I'm sorry, Carly, but full moons do not aid in fasting. Full moons are for feasting. Yes. New moons are for fasting. New moons are for clearing things out. That's what new moons are for. This, this is um, You brought up a great point. You don't deny when power is everywhere. When... when when power is everywhere, you you go and embrace it. So on a full moon, there's power everywhere. That's the stronger. There's more crime, more sex, more pseudo suicides, more get downs on a full moon than any other time because the energy's there. It's getting a direct reflection of the light of the sun. This is the most sunlight you're gonna get. At nighttime is during a full moon. So fasting is drawing away, pulling away. Right. You get more arguments during a full moon. You get hot headedness. You see what I mean? Uh, emotions run high because, um, because the moon rules emotions, right? So you have to look. So if you want to do a fast with the moon cycle, you want to do it around the new moon, not the full moon. That's why I have a program called Moon Magic 28, and it's at moonmagic28.info. Because so many people think that the rituals that you're supposed to do, you're doing the, it, you, there's nothing wrong with doing a ritual, nothing wrong with doing a fast. But if you're doing it at the wrong time, it's vain fasting. If your if your woman is not ovulating and you're trying to get her sick, trying to get her pregnant, you just having sex. She can't get pregnant if the egg ain't there. She she cannot get pregnant if the egg is not there. So the moon is almost like a 28 day incubator, right? So you want to clear some things out on the new moon. That means that. The moon is dark. You've never seen a you've never seen a new moon because it's dark. It's, that's the black moon. It's the weakest. There's not, it's not much light. You need light for life. This planet survives off of sunlight. So when the moon is full, it's getting the maximum amount 
of life and vitality to reflect to us. And what sign is in, sign is curriculum. Sign is curriculum and house houses are curriculum. So when you put a full moon in a particular sign, like this one is not quite in Pisces yet. It's still in Aquarius. Because the full moon is always opposite wherever the sun is at. And the sun is only at five degrees five degrees Virgo right now, which is directly opposite of Pisces. Alright? If I hold this up and we do the little class here. And we see that Pisces. Wow. So you see that Pisces is directly across from Virgo. You see Pisces here, and directly across is Virgo. So that's when you have a full moon. So wherever the full moon is at, the opposite sign is where the sun is at. And they have to be at the same degree. So the sun right now is at 5 degrees Virgo. That means that opposite for full moon is the sun has to the moon has to be here at at six degree at five degrees Pisces, but by the time it, all the planets are going in this direction, all the planets are going in this direction. So by the time the sun moves one, he, he's going to move one degree by the time the moon moves out of Aquarius and moves into Pisces. I mean, by now this time of night, because it was twenty eight degrees about 45 minutes ago so it might be at zero degrees pisces right now if somebody could go to a l a b e dot com a lady dot com and just look at the moon if you know what you're doing if you're an astrologer you have some experience then you could go and just be like oh the sun the moon is you just look for the moon it looks like a crescent it looks just like this any astrological chart you go to. And that's another thing about astrology too. I just, I said it in my pre prior, but when we had astrology in elementary school, we built pyramids. When we took astrology out of elementary school, they moved us into projects. Know yourself and know what these planets look like. This is the moon. Let's just, let's do some introductions around here. This is Pluto. They're already labeled for you. I think he's at 13. Yeah, Pluto's at 13. Aquarius. Here's Neptune. You can go to Google and just like see and just type in the name of the planet and it and just type in like Neptune astrology and it'll show you. Type in Uranus astrology and it will show you. Type in South Node astrology, it'll show you. Anything that you type in, it will show you. Now, Pisces, you are the sign of illusions. Pisces, you are the sign of... You're the final transformation sign, too. So, if you are a Pisces or any other water signs, Scorpios and Cancers, you will be feeling this the most. Why? Because, look at the green triangle. Everything that is the all the elements are affected by one another so there's pisces cancer and scorpio um holding it back so hopefully you can see that see that pisces cancer and scorpio all trying one another that means they're the same elements so all of you elementals are just getting it getting it getting it um some of you may be like why is he getting so many hearts? Because tonight I am doing a heart count and the person who gives me the most hearts is going to get a free reading um, next week. And you, you could get it to, I, I can't say you're going to get it tomorrow because I'm really busy. But when September gets here, you're going to get a free reading, but it will be next week sometime, probably after Sunday. I will get in contact with you. So you have to do two things. You have to tap the screen and give me the most hearts and you have to put your information over at coachkastrology.info coachkastrology.info 
Como Landscaping. What's going on? Appreciate you for joining. That, I want to thank everybody for coming, checking out some real life astrology tonight, and you scoping with Coach Kair. I really appreciate it. Um, this is a part of my seven day series. There's seven days in the week, seven major planets. There is seven chakras in the body, and there's seven major planets that they call the seven thunders. And the seventh letter of the alphabet is G for geometry, which the Masons use, which is also for God. So seven is such a powerful number. In the deck of cards, it's the middle number. It's the number of work. So every day, I'm giving a different periscope. Because like I said yesterday on my periscope, don't you get tired of people not having no versatility? All these one-trick ponies that just want to talk about marketing every day. Every day they're talking about marketing. Marketing on Periscope. Marketing on Periscope. You don't have anything else to talk about? What about, I mean, like, come on, man. Give us give us some flavor or something, Nate. Like, I'm not a one-trick pony and I don't like one-trick ponies. That's just like having sex in the same position all the time. Even if it's my favorite, I ain't going to dig it like that. I want to see I want to see something else popping off. Yes, I got to do something about these. Like I got good lighting out here on the porch, but you know who else likes good lighting in the south this time of night? That's right, bugs and mosquitoes. And I'm that nice dark meat that they, I'm not super dark, but anyway, let's stay on let's stay on task. Um, I appreciate y'all for the hearts. Thank you for if you just got here, please uh, swipe to the right or swipe up and invite your followers and share on Twitter so you have more people who will understand about astrology you know I'm trying to educate more people about the basics in astrology did you know let's get to some of the super basics I know I'm supposed to be going to Virgo I'm coming back to you Pisces full moon you are looking so good up there oh mama she's looking good I'm full of energy. Like, I'm full of energy. It's like 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning, and I'm out here on Periscope, like, wide open, you know, ready to bring the sun up over in the UK, looking at my clan over on the left coast. But understand that if you're a Pisces, you're going to be feeling this energy the most because it's in your sign. If you are a Cancer or a Scorpio, you're going to be feeling kind of frisky too. Full moons is definitely sexual. And 3 a.m. over here. Okay. Is it? Are we on? Are you on the East Coast? Don't tell me it's 3 o'clock in the morning. We scoping, baby? Yeah, 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 yeah. I got to get it done. I got to get it done, man. It's 3 o'clock in the morning. We scoping. Let's get it. That means some people will be catching us on the replay. Now, uh, Virgos. The sun is in Virgo, and the opposite sign is tar is uh, Pisces. So this sun moon opposition is maximum potential, maximum potential. What is being revealed to you now, Virgos? It's over there. It's like a it's like the flashlight is like behind your head, and it's just sh shining like down, so you can see totally. Anytime you're the opposite sign of the full moon, you can utilize that energy almost like it was yours because you have a direct line of sight on it. You know, now there's also this opposition of poles because the moon is strictly yin, receptive and feminine, and the sun is totally masculine. And the sun is over in the sign of Virgo, which is I analyze and I perfect and the moon is over there in the sign of I believe and I ain't really tripping like that and I may even tell a lie Virgo wants to tell the truth all the time and Pisces is like why can't we fudge it a little bit right so you get to see that shadow nature of yourself Pisces you get to see the sun way over there that's your shadow nature it's a good time for you to be honest with yourself and others Virgos, it could be a good time for you to, like, chill just a little bit and relax. Now, Virgos, it ain't going to be too much relaxing because 
the sun just came into Virgo and Jupiter is there too. So this is a big money month for Virgos. This is also a big money month for Leos because now Jupiter has moved into your second house. I'm going to just tell you what it is because like if I start explaining, we'll just get too technical and start losing people. But Leos, this is a big time for you right now. This is a, this is a money year for you. August to August, it's a big money year for Leos. Trust me, last year was like fame, more people paying attention to you. But if you a Leo, it's time to get your bread. If you a Virgo, you need to be putting your products out in public. You need to be you need, you need to be getting as many people to see who you are and what you bring to the table because it's all eyes on you and you're beginning a new 12-year financial cycle. Um I'm going to just go around, we might as well just go around the clock. How does this full moon affect, how does this full moon affect my Leos? All right, so this is Pisces, the full moon is in the eighth house. Now, we got to start with Aries, man. We gotta, I'm going to start with Aries, we're going to go all the way around and say, how this full moon is affecting you. And I think I'm going to piece it out for the night. Alright. Um, and if you. You know what. I want to know who's in the room. So if you want me to tell you how this full moon is affecting you. Just put your zodiac up here right now. Just list your zodiac right now. And I'm going to tell you. What this full moon is doing for you. Scorpios are up first. Pisces you up second. Scorpios. Dun. Dun, dun. Two, three, four, five. This is your fifth house. Pisces is the fifth house of Scorpio, and this is a time for spending time with your children, creativity, fun, casual sex. That's you, Scorpios. And you're going to be highly energized because you are a water sign. But you should be brimming with creativity, brimming with leadership. You should be in the front of doing your due diligence uh if you are a pisces pisces right now the full moon makes your personality bubbling everybody's in your face um you are refreshed you are renewed because the moon is in your first solar house so everything about pisces is just renewing itself it's just like starting over you're like the grand maestro of the ball right like everybody's got their eyes on you aries pisces is in your 12th house your solar 12th house so you aries this full moon is giving you energy to meditate longer go through some enlightenment you might feel like getting drunk or high secret rendezvous absolutely and it may be some light shined on some of your secrets Okay, so, but there's power in your spirituality. Power, full moon, in the 12th, in your natal 12th, spirituality. Um, there's always two frequencies. I'm giving out high frequencies because I know this Aries. Now, if you're another Aries, and you could go to jail too because the 12th house is also incarceration. So don't get jammed up doing something crazy, you Aries keep your wits about you and focus on elevating your consciousness this is an excellent time to meditate excellent time to write like even a movie a movie trailer or a script or something like that perfect time for that um so we had aries we had scorpios and we had pisces who else is in the room how long does the energy of the full moon last excellent question energy unfolds so to capture it the best time to do your ritual for full moons is day before, day of, and day after. All right? So that was Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Those are the best days to initiate. But the energy can unfold for up to 90 days. The energy can unfold up to 90 days. So something that you do right now, you may see the unfolding of it through September, October, November. 
The sun may be in Scorpio or even Sagittarius before you get what you planted here. Or you could get it soon, next week. Uh, Gemini. Hi, Gemini. 12, 11, 10th. So, new moon, I mean, I'm sorry, full moon in Pisces is in your solar 10th house. So, this is a fame, this is a uh, public eye, not like a Pisces where it's personal renewal, but for Geminis, this is how the public sees you and your job and the things, you know, fulfillment and fame. This is definitely the time for you to get out there in front of the camera. This is not a behind the camera time for you. And that's how you utilize it by being an unashamed opportunist. And Gemini, your mind is so quick. You you know, you're the speech coordinator. Get out in front and initiate some conversations. Yes, energy unfolds, man. How long does it take for you to have a baby? Nine months. So you can't get pregnant now and then the, and then the daddy be like, let me see the shoulder of the baby. Or well, how's his feet developing? And he's like, we still in the first trimester. Get away from here. And sometimes that's how magic does. But what did you do to get in on, oh man, she's so beautiful. Like, she's right behind the clouds now. But you can still see her. Oh man, it's like one of the movie shots. So, you should be here. Tony, Tony, Tony. Um... Gemini's, it's in the 10th house. And so it's just real important or it's just an opportune time for you all to say, you know what, I'm going to get up here in front of this crowd and hold it down and be an opportunist. So have you been wanting to get in front of some crowds, Gemini? Pisces, have you been wanting to start over? Scorpio, have you been feeling frisky and creative? And wanting to spend more time with your children. <sighs> hey Tauruses. You know how we do. Tauruses. That's our 11th house. So it's time. Mm, excuse me. It's time for us to get plugged. If you're team Taurus. Man this is time for us to get the plug. And plug means like get a hook up from somebody. In an organization. Or we may find ourselves being drawn. To something as an affiliate. That really blends into what our nature is and I also want to talk about 3 a.m. loving blessings from Virginia salute coach I rock with you fam yo salute we up here doing it at 3 in the morning but coach ain't gonna be here long because we can ready to shut it down I just want to give y'all just a sample man I can't like just be going in all night does anybody have any specific questions that's right let me give you some Q&A before I let y'all get up out of here also, Coach K Astrology, go over there and put your information in. You will be added to my newsletter, so you'll be getting things from me, like a lot of updates, opportunities. Um, my Moon Magic 28 program is about to start coming up like shortly. I think like September the 4th will be opening the, do opening the doors for that. So if you go to moonmagic28 and .info and download the curriculum, and just fill out the contact form, too, if you need to get in contact with me. You can hit me at hello at coachkayer.com. So, I don't have, we don't have any more questions. Leslie is just in and out. She's making sure I get my 500 hearts. Leslie, Leslie is like, I'm tapping that screen because I'm getting that free read. I don't know about y'all. And I just love the love, and I definitely appreciate it. Um, since we don't have any more questions... What's getting ready to happen is coach is getting ready to put the deuces on. I'm getting ready to go inside, drink me a nice glass of water. Probably speak to my honey bunny for a quick second. Man, some it's got to be some honey bunnies out here when coach is concerned. And I like it that I'm just like getting to be my true self. It's late. I'm a little sleepy. But astrology is real. I had to do it tonight. I probably would have been a little more cognitive. Like during the day, it won't be this late. Am I doing any rituals? This is a good night to put all my crystals out. This is a good day to put all my crystals out for the full moon. So, um, i just been concentrating and resting. Like, I, I try to make the whole month a ritual. I try to make the whole month 
because I do moon magic. So I know what I want to manifest. So I've been working on my prayers, my spirituality, because that's a full moon in Pisces. I've been working on the Anabakoa, <clears throat> trying to memorize it. Would you like to hear what I got so far? I might as well practice, right? Uh, if you don't mind. And this is uh, the Anabakoa, the miracle prayer. <clears throat> Anabakoa, Gijalak, Yemenka, Tatia, Tezara, Kabel, Renat, Amcha, Sagvenu, Taharanu, Nora, Nagabor, Doshe, Yekadeka, Kabavat, Shaman. That's the first three lines. And that's where I'm at so far. So definitely um, working on that prayer. Um, a lot of people learn that prayer first before they learn the Uznisa. I learned the Uznisa first. So I just, I really just want to get my candles popped off. I probably get up in the morning early and you're welcome. One day I want to be able to say the whole prayer for you. One day soon too, like before the end of the year. Um, so I, I probably, I, w I want to get up in the morning. I do got a reading in like seven hours, so I better go to bed, right? And then I have, um, I got some filming I want to do tomorrow. So yeah, I'm going to be filming. Filming is Pisces and praying and meditating is Pisces. <clears throat> I'm keeping it simple because I have a lot of things that I'm really happy about. So I'm not like going for the money right now. Like Pisces takes care of Taurus. It's a nurture of Taurus. So I'm really cool with that. All right. Anybody else got a question? Coach is getting ready to get out of here. Um, anybody coming through Atlanta, Georgia, you need to get a reading, coachkastrology.info. Uh, I Skype, I do Google Hangout, I do them over the telephone. All readings are recorded and sent to you directly after the reading. And they're normally about two hours. I always say at least put two hours, block two hours out. I'm trying to stay inside of those confines but there's a lot of information to cover um but i just got tired through like may june and july i've done a lot of readings in august i needed to take some time for myself to take care of some other business but uh september i'm back already got some people like lined up already like me 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 so i gotta call some people and remind them so i really appreciate everybody for tuning in the zoom in this is Coach Kyrie. You have been rocking with the best because I've been rocking with the best. I'm going to holler at y'all soon. Peace. And as a, I always, my broadcast, is like, why do we have to end right now? We like what we're doing. You're going to have to try to shut us down. Don't you see these people trying to give you hearts? Yeah, I like it too. All right, 5,000.